you enjoyed the suspension rebuild um, but as you can see it rolls it looks nice but if you really want to crawl like a real jeeper you're gonna be rubbing fenders so this little thing here is my after effect because um, I like to play with my stuff so basically you just trim these fenders off just take those off like so All right, and then of course these nasty bumpers you gotta, gotta get those aftermarket parts that's how jeepers work so I took those off and as you can see you already got some good flexing going on there All right. then you got the rock rails you know those factory rock rails yeah, they're no good either. You just rip those out. All right, so now you're stripped, right? So if you're a real jeeper, you know, you're ready to hit the trails right there. You can flex all you want. Look at that, all right? But don't look cool, so you gotta, you know, get your aftermarket parts. So what you do, first thing, get your little rear bumper extensions. And this is to each person's taste, obviously, because that's the whole thing about the modding community. And I use these little round pieces for my fronts. So that way it kind of cleans up the front end and you just get rid of those two pieces right there. And then my modification for the front fender is pretty simple. You take your front pin out, all right, and then you drop your lower pin. The big thing is you gotta make sure the yellow piece is to the outside. So I take an elbow with another blue uh, connector piece and connect it like that. Now I don't have black but you can cover this piece up pretty easily. It needs to be there for, st uh, for stability and structure. So this is what it ends up looking like and what that does is you pop it in this higher spot there and it gives you that you know better clearance all important clearance all right and on the rear side so you got this backdrop here all I do here is I take this piece off and I get straight ones like so and then I just swap these pieces over and put them in their place take these out So that way you have your two pieces and you put them back, you reuse them, obviously once you center them up. And you just put them back in their spot. And it gives you a little bit more clearance so it's not rubbing so much. Now it's rubbing on the other side now, that's why, but I'm just giving you the demonstration of, of what we got going on here. So you got these pieces here, this part can come out. pin you can take that out if you want to and just nice clean look you can reuse some pieces just to make it simple or you can put your bar back in there you can reuse some pieces you know like those um, thing that I like to do is space these out because the uh, quick demonstration here you can just slop another rail up in there you know any number of things but that'll give you some more flexibility and at the very end you gotta get that all important flex picture I think I can do a third if I remember correctly Thanks for watching.